Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it seems like every time I want to film a video, the dog wants to chew on his, what we call his lovies. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is a Rose Girls haul. Now I want to say up front that you're going to see quite a few hauls coming from me, but I don't typically haul a lot during the fall time. And I did take a break for almost a year from buying wax, so I think I'm just getting it out of my system at the moment. But this, I really want this channel to be more about the warm reviews and like I want to do a warmer tour, just more about using up your wax than hauling. Now, I'm obviously I'm still going to have hauls, but I am trying to be more, what's the word? selective when I order. I'm trying not to just order absolutely everything that I want like I would usually do. I'm trying to make cuts and be like, oh, like what's going to be, what's something I can use in the winter time or what's something that I don't already have that's pretty similar. So yeah, if you guys want to like follow along on this journey of F ups and <laughs> just, I mean, because you know, Sometimes I order things and I'm like, why did I order this? So, and I usually talk about that in my warm reviews. Like I have three scents that are very similar to this. So anyways, I was very surprised. Let's get into the Rose Girls haul. I was very surprised. I went on and I had a list of about five or six things. And I was like, there's no way I'm getting all six things. Like there's just not going to happen. Um, also, let me know if that annoys you, that sound, because I've noticed it's been in the last like three or four videos, and if I need to, I can send Champ to another room to chew on that, but if it doesn't bother you, I'll just let him have at it. But it might bother me. <laughs> I mean, it's cute. I love the little guy, but dang. Okay, so I went online, and I thought there was no way I'm getting all six bags, like Typically stuff from Rose Girls, especially if it's just from her, like if it's not a pre-order, it's just a ready to ship, you're not going to get everything. So I was, you know, going around, you know, entering my six as quick as I could. I checked out. I usually go back in to see like, okay, what has sold out just, you know, out of curiosity. I wasn't going to buy anything else. Um, and then I saw that like nothing had sold out and I was like what is going on so I'm like well wait a second like I'm not just gonna let this like sit here because you know I had a few other things on my list but I was trying to keep my list small so that I could get everything now I'm not the type of person that I don't like I'm not the baby needs a bottle type of person like if I don't get everything that's on my list it's fine like if something falls out of my cart it's fine <laughs> you know so I was like, well, shoot, if everything's still in stock, I'm going to go ahead and try to add these, I don't know, I think four other bags that I had on my list. So I went back in and I was just adding the four things thinking, oh, these, you know, one of these is going to drop and then I'll just, you know, X out, whatever. And I got the four other bags and I was like, okay. So then I went later on that day. I didn't order again, but I was just curious. I'm, I'm always curious as to like what's going on. And... I looked and there was still stuff on the site. Like, I don't think anything had really sold out yet. I was like, this is crazy. So she must have poured my whole point. <laughs> this long story for this just one point is that she must have poured a ton of overstock, like stuff to, for the ready to ship. So she also had a lot of single mini melters and I don't buy single mini melters anymore. Unless maybe it's like peppermint. I think I have her lemonade scent, which, which holds up pretty good. I feel like her peppermint holds up pretty good. I do have an Oh Christmas tree from a bazillion years ago that still smells like perfect. So the other mini melters though, like the single like blender scents, like ice cream, those I had a ton of at one time. If you guys saw my wax room tour, you would have saw like my bros girls bin and all of those like just went off or they didn't have a strong scent and I just was not into it so I ended up throwing away a lot of mini melter bags just because the single scents don't last for me now it could be my fault I could be storing it wrong I don't know 
I did have a bag of Zen go bad on me. Like it went like disgustingly bad. I don't know what happened to it. It just, it was not good. So anyways, okay, five minutes in, let's get on to this. But I personally don't buy the single scent notes um, unless I've used it before and I know it's fine, but I won't buy like vanilla crunch donuts. I won't buy ice cream. I won't buy, I don't know. I just, there's just a few I won't buy. Okay, so <laughs> here is her card. I think her card is really cute. She had this pink paper sitting on top, which is always nice. Just a nice little touch. The sample I got is Iced Vanilla Woods and it's the Bath and Body Works type, which if you guys have been around any amount of time, I'm not familiar with Bath and Body Works because I don't really shop there that much. I'm not, I don't mind a candle every once in a while, but I'm not, I don't know. I'm just not big into candles all the time. So this is Ice Lavender Sweet Vanilla Ebony Wood with natural, oh, never mind. <laughs> That's off the Bath and Body Works site. Um, I'm getting the scent notes. So Ice Lavender Sweet Vanilla Ebony Wood. Let's see what this smells like. I wonder what Ice Lavender. Okay, this is probably okay for me, but the wood smells very strong in here. I don't know if I'm getting Ice Lavender. The wood is the first thing that I'm picking up. I do smell something that smells like a lavender, but I don't know what iced lavender is. Never had that scent before. So does anybody know what iced lavender is? Is that just like a, what would that be? Like a, I don't think it'd be like a peppermint lavender because I don't smell peppermint, but anyways. All right, so the, also I will just say to, let me move this out of the way. We don't need to see this. Um, I will say too that all, everything I got in this order, I really like except, there's only one exception, and I don't hate this one. It's just not what I was thinking it was gonna be. It's okay. It's jam and jelly, and grandma got ran over by a chain chomp. Now I have had grandma got ran over by a chain chomp before, and I did like it. So I thought, oh, with the jam and jelly, it's gonna be really good. So it's strawberry jam, raspberry sauce, blueberry cobbler, and then the grandma got a chain chomp is blackberry jam butter cookies, peeps cake, cotton candy frosting, and waffle cone. So there's that super pretty with the red and the purple. I love that when she like mixes the colors. Okay, smelling this again after my initial smell, it doesn't smell like it did when I first smelled it. I'll just say that, it smells better. That's what I'm trying to get, get at. The strawberry jam raspberry so sauce blueberry cobbler is very strong in here. I was hoping to get more of the grandma got run over by a chain chops chomp smell, but yeah, I, I, I'm smelling that cobbler, the cobbler and the jams and the sauces, the jam and jelly part pretty strongly. So this, oh, the other thing too, um, I was gonna say is that I'm not sitting on my rose girls anymore. Like I have a bag that I'm warming right now that I got two months ago and it's doing great. So I'm not sitting on my rose girls. Like this, hopefully this will be warmed around October, November time. I'm not gonna hang on to it until next year. Just, I'm not doing it. I'm warming my stuff. It's not, I'm not gonna let it sit. So sweet potato, oh, this is a very Mario Thanksgiving. It's a sweet potato royal sugar cookie pie crust caramelized pralines, sweet pumpkin pie, and a sprinkle of marshmallow. I thought this sounded really good for the fall time. The, okay, this smells amazing. The, you know, sometimes when I get like sweet potato and I see that and I think, ugh, like sweet potato, I don't know, but this, oh, this has a really nice, the bakery going on in here is really good. It's not it's not too heavy on the sweet potato. Like when I got a whiff of that, I immediately got like the crust, the cookie. It's not heavy. Oh, that smells really, really nice. Impressed with that one. And this one was kind of like, I, I was pretty sure I was gonna like it, but it was kind of a wild card. 
for me just because of the sweet potato, but that's very good. If you like bakery scents, that would be a winner. Mario's Home for the Holidays. This is Christmas Wish, Oh Christmas Tree, Toasted Marshmallow, Royal Sugar Cookie, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Now again, I said I did have Oh Christmas Tree, I believe, in a mini melter. And I think I still have that one and it's still pretty strong. So I knew I liked this scent. This one reminds me of like Die Hard from, well, should I be talking about other vendors? I always feel bad when I do that. Okay, let me back up. <laughs> It smells like pine and sugar cookies. Like if you've had that scent, which has become popular with a lot of vendors. Now, I will say, I think Christmas Wish, uh, I don't remember what exactly the notes are, but it can smell. Okay, let me just take back that statement. I The first time I smelled this, I was smelling pine sugar cookies. But now that I'm smelling it again, yeah, it's so weird how your nose picks up every Thing different every time you smell it. I think it just depends. This one's very Christmassy, very tree forward. But sometimes that sugar cookie and the toasted marshmallow vanilla bean noel kind of kick up a little bit stronger. I guess it depends what scent you're smelling. <laughs> but yeah, this one is tree heavy and then I think the sugar cookie, so it's gonna depend um, how it comes out on warm, but if you like trees or sugar cookie, that's a great one. So the next one I have is a Fire Mario and Christmas Eve and Cookie Land. Cookie Land. You have to excuse me, because some of these, like I have no idea what Fire Mario is. Like I, I haven't been paying attention. So it's eggnog, royal sugar cookie, monster cookie, marshmallow smoothie, donut holes, marshmallow fireside, and espresso beans. So I don't know what the Fire Mario is supposed to be. And Cookie Land is kind of a new scent to me. I do have Strawberry Cookie Land going in my living room now, and it smells amazing. I have a friend that was like, she doesn't like Cookie Land, and I kind of agreed with her. But now that I'm having it in blends, it's not that bad. All right, so first thing I smell is the espresso. Now I do like her espresso scent, it's not too bitter. I don't know am I smelling eggnog. That was the other like thing that I was worried about is eggnog. I don't think I'm getting the eggnog. I think I mostly am smelling espresso and her cookie. I can always smell her cookie, especially if it's monster cookie. <laughs> I feel like I always smell that. Her monster cookie is delicious, by the way, if you are ever able to get blends with that in it, it is so good. Yes. So that one, I don't, I'm not, this one doesn't scare me. I smell mostly the espresso and the bakery. I'm not getting so much of the eggnog smell. So I don't know. Did anyone else pick this one up and are you smelling eggnog? But it could just be, you know, when you smell things at different times, like you get different notes. So it really just matters on warm, honestly. So this is Princess Peaches Hot Girl Summer. This was in my second order. Oh, also, by the way, I did email her and she was able to combine my uh, orders. So I only paid one shipping. So that was really nice of her. So this is fresh picked strawberries, cotton candy frosting, coconut cream pie, and mango sorbet. I don't know if this was a customer made blend or not. I don't remember and I'm sorry to whoever may have made this one. Oh, dang it, I'm so sorry. I Actually, I think this is a mashup, so maybe it's not. I wanted something summery. I will warm this this summer. I'm not waiting until next year. So the mango sorbet, I really like her, her I really like her mango sorbet and I think it's strawberry mango sorbet and marshmallow smoothie. I think it's called Love Yourself Fluff Puff, something like that. I knew I liked that, so I knew I liked her mango sorbet and strawberry together. So that's really what I get is a very strong mango sorbet and a fresh picked strawberry. It is truly a fresh picked strawberry. That one is very summery. I don't know if I pick up the coconut cream pie yet. This one would be a good mixer. If you have a heavy bakery, this one would be good to mix with it. Okay, I did pick up Warp Zone and this is Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs, Peppermint and Vanilla Crunch Donuts. 
I love Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs and I wanted something with Peppermint Bakery. So this hit all my check marks. Yeah, this one is just how it sounds. It's Peppermint Bakery. Peppermint Cookie. I don't smell the Monster Cookie that strong in here. It's more of just like you can smell a cookie smell. Monster Cookie is a very, like very distinct smell to me, but with the fluff puffs in there, I bet it's toning down that monster cookie smell. So there's that. That one is very pepperminty. Okay. The other one I grabbed is Wario's Winter Wonderland. This is candy cane, vanilla crunch donuts, eggnog, and sugar cookies. Again, I was feeling like in the Christmas spirit, I don't buy a lot during fall. Like I don't buy specifically well, I've already done some pre-orders for fall stuff and I'll probably do another vendor's Christmas pre-order or ready to ship whatever she's doing. But that, I think that's it. I don't tend to buy a lot of, I like to buy it like now versus in September, October-ish because then you're gonna be sitting on it for like a year and I don't wanna do that. So this one is, so the candy cane is different than her peppermint. I can tell you that it's, I mean, they're similar, but different. This one is good. I do like this one. I don't smell the eggnog in this one again. I mean, I think maybe I'm getting like a creaminess from an eggnog, but it's not a very strong, like not punch you in the face kind of eggnog. It's very light. So we'll have to see on warm what this one does. Like, I'm ready to warm these bad boys, like, now. <laughs> All right, the next one I got, this one was a mistake. I didn't mean to, <laughs> I didn't mean to order this one. I thought I knew what I was grabbing, but it's fine because this one is pretty good. This is Blueberry Muff. War it's called worry, worry About It Later. Did I say that right? Blueberry Muffin, Fresh Picked Strawberry, Vanilla Butter Fudge, and Sugar Cookie Royale. Blueberry's not always, like, my first pick for melt, so that's why I, I meant to pick... There was something else that was like Wario something, and I think I grabbed it in here somewhere, but I, when I went back in, I was like, oh, let me grab another one, and then I accidentally grabbed this, so it's fine. I think someone, this is someone's blend, and I'm sorry if I, I don't, I can't remember whose blends are what. So this one is a little, you know, this one is pretty good. This is a little heavy on the blueberry muffin, which is fine. Like I said, blueberry is not always my thing. However, the fresh picked strawberry and the vanilla butter fudge sugar cookie royale kind of like tone it down a little bit. We'll have to get it on a warmer and see how it does. It's pretty good though. Like I do like the blueberry muffin and the fresh picked strawberry together. It kind of, um, they kind of mingle up together really nicely. So, and I love the blue and yellow that she chose for the, all the colors in this order are just so like fun. So, all right, just, uh, two more bags left here. Okay, so we have Blizzard on the Star Express. This is candy cane, eggnog, ice cream, marshmallow, caramel cheesecake, frosted sugar cookies. So again, that, you know, I didn't even realize this. And if I had realized this, I probably would have only picked one candy cane scent, but you know, it is what it is. So here's where I start to get, <laughs> like I start being picky with myself. Like, okay, you should have just grabbed the one candy cane scent you didn't need to, but whatever, here we, here we are. <laughs> this is where we're at. Okay, this one has a little more depth to it. I can smell, this time I can smell the eggnog. I can smell the caramel cheesecake. Yeah, this one is more, this one has more of the eggnog in it and I can, and the candy cane is there. I smell the eggnog, the caramel cheesecake is there. It's very creamy, it's like a creamy caramelness. Is that a word? <laughs> I do like that one. Nothing wrong with the other one that's got candy cane in it either, but I can just really smell the eggnog in here and I, I feel like it has a little more uh, depth. I, I don't know if that's the right word to describe wax. Does wax have a depth? <laughs> okay, so the next one I grabbed was a Sweet Princess Party plus Bowser's Birthday Bash. 
This one, I, I think I was warming the strawberry pound cake that day and the cookie land, or I'm sorry, I was warming the strawberry cookie land. I've warmed it twice now. And I was like, I'm really enjoying that blend. Let me go ahead and just grab this. So this is strawberry pound cake, cookie land, cupcakes at Tiffany's, vanilla ice cream, confetti cake, cream cheese frosting, strawberry vanilla milkshake. I grabbed this one for the strawberry vanilla milkshake, especially. <laughs> I love milkshake blends. If you haven't had any milkshake blends, sometimes they are so good. All right, so this one, This one smells like a strawberry bakery. I mean, just as simple as that. It's a strawberry bakery, but it's not like the one I have going in my living room right now. The strawberry is stronger. The strawberry is a little bit lighter in this one. It's not as forward. I think I'm smelling more of, I don't know. I think I'm just smelling more bakery in here. So that is my Rose Girls order. Like I said, I really like everything that I got which is a bonus for me because, you know, like I said, I, I'm trying really hard to be a little bit more selective and not just order everything just because. So, all right, that is it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys ordered any of these, let me know what you think of them. If you have a favorite from your order, let me know what that is because I'm curious. Also, um, oh, I just want to say thank you to the like wax comedian general. I know I say this a lot, but like you guys don't know, like I enjoy being in the wax groups and seeing you guys in there and seeing you guys in the comments. I know I say it all the time, but I really do. So thank you for that. All right, I'm going to go. I hope everyone has an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye guys.